Mr. Richard, uh, can you expand on number two, which is that uh, you're asking, you, you think the police force should be more specific uh, in their search warrants? <coughs> Yes, uh, good question. Uh, that that uh, actually is discussed quite at length in the um, uh, Civil Liberties Association brief, and I, I found that the argument compelling. We live in the age of, uh, of the internet and social media, and pretty much everybody, everybody in the room can think about what they have in their email account or in other places in their computer. Think about that. If you get a search warrant to seize a computer, you seize everything, everything that's in there, and you have access to everything. In my view, that's it is a bit much. It's, it's legal, uh, but but in my view, uh, there there is a need. It's well, I think beyond the scope of, of my review, but, but I think there is a need uh, to be uh, require more uh, specific requests uh, when you're obtaining a search warrant for a computer or electronic equipment uh, because there, there are things, if you're investigating a particular complaint, you don't need everything that's in the computer. But if you have a search warrant to seize a computer, you have everything. Uh, so it, 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 it opens up all kinds of possibilities. Intrusions into a person's personal life that is totally unrelated to the investigation taking place. Uh, it, um, it, it also is a license to search for stuff. Uh, and so, in my view, that's a bit much and, and requires some review. So, obviously, I don't have jurisdiction over every police force in the country. And, but I, I do, I am saying that, in my view, uh, police, this police force, because that's the scope of my review, uh, should make every effort to specify what they're looking for if they're obtaining a search warrant. Okay, I hear your response to that. With the help of my friends here, who can turn the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, I won't uh, delve too deeply into the, the contents of the report, um, but I can say that uh, you know, in the Criminal Code of Canada, in our policies and procedures, uh, we have very strict uh, parameters that we have to work uh, within to get a search warrant. Um, and our court system is, uh, is very thorough in ensuring that all elements of a search warrant are contained. Um, I, I think that Mr. Richard uh, raises a very interesting point that in this day and age of, of computers and, and uh, uh, social media, this is something new that we need to catch up with um, in terms of, of narrowing that scope. Uh, the only analogy I could make for you is if we have a, a search warrant to go into a specific location to find something specific, it's very narrow on, that, on, on the search warrant. Uh, but in this case, we have a search warrant to seize a computer. Um, so I think that, uh, that uh, there is room for uh, uh, improvement in that area to, to narrow those, uh, those fields going forward.